Ah, spring in New York City. The sights, the smells, and the sounds, and the sounds, and the sounds. The city that never sleeps is noisy, and you either get used to it or you find some type of solution to find some quiet when you're either walking home from work or going on a run like I like to here in Central Park. Now, you might think that the obvious answer is to use noise-canceling headphones or over-ear headphones to block out that noise, but I'm gonna tell you why that's not the answer and what you should be using instead. Right now, I am wearing bone conduction headphones. Now, I know that sounds kind of weird if you haven't used bone conduction headphones before or are not familiar with them, and I know right off the bat they do not look as stylish or discreet as AirPods or other popular wireless earbuds, but I happen to think bone conduction headphones are tech's best kept secret, or at least they're just not well known enough, and I think that's because the top audio brands don't release bone conduction headphones with any sort of regularity, if at all. Now, why is that? Besides the questionable appearance, since these headphones don't actually go in your ears, the sound quality doesn't compare well to how we normally test headphones at Tom's Guide. When it comes to testing audio quality, we pay attention to how well the earbuds seal or couple to the ears. Without good coupling, you'll miss out on certain frequencies, while analyzing the feel of the bass and finding a sophisticated balance of sound elements is what makes a great headphone generally. And then we like to see how well the headphones block out ambient noise, that is if they have an active noise cancellation feature. While the silence those headphones deliver is great when you're studying or working or trying to get some rest on an airplane, you will never catch me wearing active noise cancellation headphones when I'm out and about in the city. And yes, that's even if they have a transparency mode. With the cars and traffic and scooters and bikes and just people, it is so important to stay aware of your surroundings and keep your ears clear, especially as a woman. That's just the reality. Enter bone conduction headphones. Bone conduction headphones are great because they leave your ears open while you can still listen to music or your podcast while you're out on a run. That way, if a biker is coming up behind me, I can hear them, I can move over, I can just be aware of what's happening. And while it doesn't always block out some of the annoying sounds, I'll make an argument that you don't always want that when you're running in a busy, high traffic city. I'll be honest, there aren't that many bone conduction headphones out there. You might've heard of Bose frames or other pairs of smart glasses with bone conduction speakers built into them so that you can listen, but I'm really talking here about dedicated headphones designed for working out, specifically using bone conduction technology. Now, a brand that does do it particularly well is called Shox, and the pair that I have on right here are the Shox Open Run Pro. These headphones cost $179, come in a few colors, have 10 hours of battery life, are sweat proof, and weigh just about an ounce, so they're super lightweight around my neck. They're also very secure, though I wish this neckband had some more give, they're not falling off or going anywhere or falling in a sewer grate like a wireless earbud very easily could and in my case has. As for sound quality, let's go through my running playlist. The Shox Open Run Pro excelled with electronic synth riffs, maintaining precision and sophistication throughout Van Halen's jump. Rihanna's We Found Love sounded sexy yet still punchy. Vocals aren't as pronounced as I usually like, though the iconic verses of Macklemore and Ryan Lewis's Can't Hold Us held their own against the soaring piano line. These headphones do have bass enhancers built in, so on bass heavy tracks like Another One Bites the Dust, I could at least follow the beat. Though again, that's not really bone conduction headphone specialty. You'll see better performance with electronic sounds. And why is that? Let's head back inside to talk to Shox about how their headphones work and what makes them special. So we are clearly not in Central Park anymore, but I have Paige Turner from Shox on the phone to tell us a little bit more about bone conduction headphones. Thank you for joining me, Paige. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. We'll go right into it. I want to know a little bit more about how Shox phone conduction headphones are different from regular wireless earbuds, some of like the most popular models on the market. Yeah, absolutely. So we are in fact pretty polar opposite to what you're pretty much used to in your traditional sense of an in-ear or over-the-ear headphone or, you know, headset device. Um, most of those products, in fact, all of those types of traditional headphones and headsets that you're familiar with use air conduction. Um, all of our products use something that's completely opposite of that. Um, so instead of things actually, instead of those sound vibrations that you're experiencing with your audio or your calls, 
coming through um, your actual ear itself, so the ear opening, all of our products use bone conduction and these little nifty transducers that are on either side of each device um, to send mini sound vibrations directly into your inner cheekbone. That's gonna go through your inner ear. So it completely bypasses your eardrum. So that's what separates it from air, air conduction um, that you're used to. So in that sense, um, those mini vibrations going through your cheekbone to your inner ear allows your actual ear to stay physically open um, to ambient noise sounds going on around you. So you can be on a call enjoying your audio, but still hear a passerby, someone ringing your, do your doorbell, um, a child or a dog in the background. You're going to be able to st stay aware and connected to all of those things at the same time. Because of the way that that we're absorbing the sound now, what kind of sound profiles might sound better with bone conduction headphones than others? So for all of our products, but especially our headset that I'm wearing right now, you're definitely gonna get a very rich human voice experience. Um, I also would say that you're gonna get a pretty dynamic and impressive sound experience. Uh, but I say that to make it very clear that you're not gonna experience like a surround sound like you would with something that maybe covers your ears, similar to you know your kind of studio tailored headphones and headsets. Um, instead, you're still going to get a, a good amount of mid-range and high frequency range based sounds. Um, and with our newest product, which is actually Open Run Pro, which you might be familiar with, um, we actually upped the sound technology in these guys to pick up more low range based sounds. So you're going to get an even more pseudo stereo sound experience, um, you know, as far as bone conduction technology limitations can take you, because of course you're not going to have the exact same experience as you would with something physically in your ear. Um, but you would be surprised how how awesome any type of audio track, uh, especially now with the bass improvements in Open Run Pro, um, you're going to experience some pretty rich sound regardless. It's going to be a great listening experience. Our mission and our focus still rings true. We kind of wanted to create products that allowed for bone conduction technology, which is quite a complex technology when you really get down to the nuts and bolts of it, to be accessible to everyone. We wanted everyone to be able to experience their audio and their music and their calls, but also the world around them and not miss out on all of those moments. Um, so I would definitely say that our target audience is anyone that's looking to connect to both sides of things, right? Still enjoy a listening experience, still be able to make and take calls, um, but enjoy, you know, ambient noise and enjoy whatever's happening in their environment. Um, but also kind of more, a little bit more granular. The second part of that question, um, primarily we definitely are focusing on fitness and tech savvy individuals, um, people with, you know, any type of interest in fitness or living those active day to day lifestyles. Sometimes outside noise is really okay, especially with a pair of headphones like these that actively look to counter ambient noises for the sake of someone you're talking on the phone with, thanks to dual noise canceling microphones. But all things considered, you want your ears open. You still want to listen to podcasts or music. Here's your answer. As much as I talk about how much I love bone conduction headphones for running outside, I usually won't go for them if I'm working out in the gym or on an airplane or just kind of situated someplace that I know I'm safe, that there's not too much action happening around me. And that's okay. But with bone conduction headphones, I know that I can run safely outside and won't be caught off guard by anything coming up behind me. Pair that with a secure fit and long lasting battery life and you have a winning pair of workout headphones. But of course, not all bone conduction headphones are built the same. And that's why you should check out tomsguide.com for in-depth product reviews of all the cool products we test, like bone conduction headphones. You should also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to see some of the cool stuff we're sharing over there. Now that I got my playlist fired up, I gotta go finish my run. I'll catch you next time.